know, we heard Bill Elliott say this restricted play stuff levels it out. You can make those big gains when there's a pack of cars in traffic. Now, when they get single file, it's even harder to pass. So that's when you see those big shuffles on those restarts. Chad Little went from second to ninth, and Randy LaJoy got kicked back from third on the start to 12th. Pace cars in. Single file restart. Everybody's still on the lead lap. We've completed seven of 117 laps. The eight this time by. Schrader starting to accelerate. As you watch from the start finish line, located halfway down the first straightaway at Talladega. A little speedy driving kicked up there. And it's Ward Burton coming up the outside. Yeah, he made a professional move there. You can't pass on the inside, but you can on the outside. So he made a, uh, about three cars there on the, on the restart. Drops in behind. Chad Little. Just ahead of the rest of the pack as they now they really string out on this restart. A couple of guys got caught napping, it seems, and they're strung half the length of the back straightaway. Up front, they're pretty tightly packed. All you gotta do is not get on that throttle quick. Boy, there's Ernie Irvin's four car and him diving in under Bill Elliott. He's gotta make this fast. He doesn't move over, he's going back, but he was able to get enough on the clearance on Bill to slide up in line. And what Schrader did there, he saw the four car coming. He kind of moved down to pick him up. He, he wants to draft with him, I think. Elliot now drops low as they come through the triable, Earnhardt high. And Elliot dropping back. Like what happened over here, like sometimes when it looked like a guy dropped off, he was down low, but that whole line drove up. It looked like he might have a problem. He's down there low on the track, but uh, I don't know that Bill moved down so much as the whole line gained up on him, went on the outside. They sure got him hung out to get the rear. That whole line for Chevrolet is Elliott's in a Ford. Yeah, what do you think? <laughs> Although Mark Martin is fifth. Excuse me, he's not. He's back in eighth in Ford. Now Schrader caught up high, and there they go. That's what's bad. When you're leading the race, you never know where that pack's going behind you. And they'll be giving these hand signals back and forth. Let's go, let's go. But they don't tell the guy leading. See, Sterling, he's caught on the bottom just like Bill was. He'll probably go to the end of that line. Leapfrog among the front eight drivers. Irvin in front, Earnhardt, Dale Jarrett, Schrader. Joe Bessie and Joe Nemechek are the two Bush regulars up in that pack. That's Chad Little up high. That'll split them up a bit. Now that's a good move. When you make that move going in the corner, move to the outside, that makes the inside car have to wait and fall back in line behind you. Just what Nemechek had to do. Going for the lead, Earnhardt. The outside, you'll take about three wide. Ooh. He's up a little bit. Earnhardt's hung on the inside now. They're going to give him some of that treatment. He'll be shuffling back some. <laughs> Look oh. at this. <laughs> Elliot almost got down on the apron as Joe Bessie tried to come down and go with Schrader. And Ward Burton is right up there with him. They're going to be three wide coming through this trial. Wow. You know something, Neil? These Bush Grand National guys don't wait on anybody. Look, <laughs> at, look at this Ward Burton. He's up there in third place already, and he is really driving the wheels off that car. Randy LaJoy right back up to the lead pack. And look at Ernie Irvin. He got kicked from the lead back to sixth place. And Elliot, who was out of the picture a while ago, has worked his way back in the second. <laughs> he lost the lead draft, and I thought he was having a problem. Now he's second again. And Earnhardt went back to eighth. Now he's pushing Randy LaJoy along. And they've got a little help. I, did you say pushing? I think I saw him pushing right there. <laughs> Chad Little right behind Earnhardt. But as close as you can get. Four car breakaway now, and here comes LaJoy. That blue Finaloo oh, car. Have a spin. Trouble, Mike Wallace and Todd Bodine. Caution car comes out. Going in turn three over there. Got a problem. And we complete the 12th lap under the second caution of the day. Todd Bodine, and I believe that first car might have been the FDP brakes car of Mike Wallace. Trying to see if anyone else came by with any damage. I don't see any other cars that got into it other than the two that were spinning that we saw there. So we'll have a look at it when we come back. At the world's fastest speedway, watching Bush Racing live on TNN. We're under the second caution of the day here at Talladega for a wreck up in turn number three, and Shauna Robinson got into the back of it. There's her Polaroid Captiva car. Let's have a look and show you what happened. It's Rick Wilson in 75, Todd Bodine in 34. 
But yeah. that you can see they got together there. Looked like uh, Rick may have come up just a little bit. Ooh. Look at the car in the air here. That's Todd. Mike Wallace was the car high up against the wall. Sliding along through turn number three. That's when you realize having to run that right side window and having those strips down the top of that car, that kept that car from getting airborne and really getting up where it would turn over and over and over down through there. It looked like he hit it up on two wheels, pretty bad shape, and set back down. So Todd Bodine took quite a flyer as they work on Shauna Robinson's car. Get it hooked up to the wrecker there at turn three. Bodine, Mike Wallace, Rick Wilson, and Shauna Robinson, the four cars involved. And up at the front, drivers that are 12th one lap or third the next. One lap you come by leading the race, the next lap you're 10th. Yeah, like you feel like you pass them, say, boy, I got them down. <laughs> next thing you know, you call them, say, I think the motor blew up. No, no, they're just going by. And that's what it feels like, it, buddy. When those guys go by, it feels like your motor just shuts down. Yeah, it does. And then you got to find somebody to work your way back up. And all of a sudden, you pass the car that passed you just the same way. Mm. That's the way it goes here at Talladega. We'll be right back with more Bush Series action from the fastest speedway on Earth, live on TNN after this. TNN Motorsports exclusive coverage of the Fram Filters 500K is brought to you by Napa, because there are no unimportant parts. Now there's what we need is a pool to beat the heat in here at Talladega. <laughs> that's, that's one way to do it. We're under caution here for the second time today. A four car wreck up at turn number three. Let's show you another look at it. See him going down the middle of the back straightaway. See the 75 car on the inside? Boy, they both they got together and he turned the 75 directly out in the outside wall right in front of the other cars and didn't stop. You see the 34 car almost got off the ground there for a minute. But Neil, you could tell that wasn't really a hard hit at all. If you could physically get your arm out the quarter panel and just touch a car with your arm, you could turn it around because they're so light going in the corner like that. Mm. Yeah, when you test these cars, they weigh 3,200 pounds and then they weigh like 50 pounds on the rear running at full speed. So we're under caution again. Let's get an update from the pits of David Green, the point standing runner up. Here's Randy. Well, buddy, you guys were talking earlier about the drivers need to keep their eyes on the gauges today because it is so hot out there. Well, David Green was keeping his eye on the gauge. The water temp was going up, oil temp going up. What they did was they took this panel off the front of the grill, the lower portion of the grill, the 44 car. They don't want to blow an engine here because if you're out now, you're not going to gain too many points. He's second in points. So David, David Green keeping his eye on the gauges. And the uh, car's not handling this well, but they certainly, or that well, they certainly don't want it to blow up. So they're going to try and keep the thing cool by taking this off. Todd Bodine came into this race ninth in points. He's now out of it. Out of the race, that is. Mike Wallace was 15th in the point standings. He's in the garage. Mike, they might have a pleasant surprise. If the car's not handling real well, they take that panel off and tighten the race car up. That nose piece really loosens the car up. And you want to close it up where the car will have a lot of speed. You, get, you sacrifice some handling. If the radiator made them take it off. They might find out they're driving better now. If he runs too hot, he won't need it to handle. It'll be going round and round. That's right. You see just above where it says Lumina there on that front spoiler. That's that lower grill opening that Randy talked about. On David Green's car, there's a good look at it. They had that blocked off. You know, what you want to do, you want to run maximum block off that you can. You know, you want to bring the motor up 220, 225, and just try to get the most speed you can out of the car. As you can see right here, look at the heat coming up off that racetrack. It looks like you're underwater almost, so it is really hot here, and I guarantee you he did a smart thing by unplugging that front. Shimmering heat here at Talladega Super Speedway. Ken Schrader out in front of Bill Elliott, Ward Burton, Sterling Marlin, and Randy LaJoy. We'll be right back to Talladega. 